Is everyone present? Yes. yes. Great, now down to business. We all know we have two newcomers joining us. A gay couple, and it disgusts me. I'm thinking we should keep them away from one another. I don't want any kissy kissy nonsense at my bar. James? Yes, sir? Go and keep an eye on our two new recruits and report back. Be sure to stay out of sight. Yes, sir. I'll put something when I find anything interesting. The rest of us. What should we do? Try and keep those two gay couple away from each other, but act normal so that don't expect a thing. Yes, sir. Guards, with me. And now, for the fun to begin. You all know your roles? Now go! She must be downstairs. Oh no. <coughs> oh. No, 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 no. I can't believe I burnt it. Maybe I'm having an off day. Honey, what happened? Oh, uh, hi, sweetie. I was trying to surprise you at breakfast, but I burnt it. Sorry. Oh, honey. You really are the sweetest. And it's okay, I'm sure we can get something at the pub. Oh, but... Listen. I love you so much, how about we go out tonight after work, just the two of us? Like a date? Yeah, if you want. I'd like that. Oh, come here. Easy there, my love. So much, I can't keep my paws off you, but we need to get ready. We don't want to be late on our first day. Right, sorry. I can't help it since we're great kisses. Oh, stop. Now, come on, we can enjoy each other's company later. Wow, this is amazing. Can't you believe it, babe? I can't believe we're working here. Yeah, I can't believe it either. I know, right? Something doesn't Something feel, feel right. right. Welcome to Zayda's pub. Are you two here to start your first day? Yes, we are. Great, follow me.
Um, what are these two rooms for? This is where you two have your own peace and quiet. It's technically your own break room. Oh, that's nice. Right, Veronica? Yes, it's very nice. Sweetie, are you feeling alright? So, Veronica and Elizabeth, uh, I'm Becky. I'm one of the waiters that to work here, and you two are now working here. You two are waiters, so, so you both are working separately on each end of the pub. Well, you heard of Ron. We better get going. Okay. Love you too, Eliza. Hmm. Something's not right here. I have a bad feeling about these pets. Well, this certainly was a busy day. How was your day, honey? I say interesting. Let's go home. Agreed. You still want to go on that date? Maybe some other time. Uh, you can make it up to me later. I'm far too tired after a hard day's work. Excuse me, but can you please move? We're just on our way out. Or what, black gay dog? Um, sweetie? Stay back, Eliza. I don't want you to get hurt. Oh, how sweet. Freaks stay together, don't they? I'm not afraid of you, and I really don't care what you think. Because I've grown past that. Whatever. You are nothing since uh, my insults won't work on you. How about I give you a nice beating instead? I'll recognize someone for a sec. Get out of my way, weirdo. I'm gonna teach this freak a lesson. Run. <laughs> Let's get out of here before things get messy. Well, that happened. Yeah. Hey, you sure you're okay? You haven't been yourself since we stepped in at the bar this morning. Yes, I'm fine. I guess I just miss my aunt and uncle. Okay. You know you can tell me anything, right? Yes, I know. All the way, that was a really brave thing you just did. And you seem a lot more confident than uh, you were when we first met. Yeah. It's because I got it from you. You changed me for the better and I'm just glad you're safe. I couldn't live with myself if you got hurt. Same here, and this is why I fell in love with you to begin with. Listen, we will always have each other's backs no matter what, no matter what the situation. Thank you. Now then, let's head inside so we can continue what we started last night. I'm not really in the mood. Can I have some time alone for a bit? Alright. Love you. Love you too. Hmm. 
Something's not right with that bar. And who was that strange pet? Hello, old friend. Hmm. Wait a minute. I know this writing. Wait, no, it... It can't be her. Meet me at my house later tomorrow night at 6.30 p.m. We need to talk. Ron! Uh, coming, dear. But I don't want to leave Eliza on her own. Though, but it will only be a couple of minutes or a couple of hours. I'll just have to make it short. It's because I got it from you. You changed me for the better and I'm just glad you're safe. I couldn't live with myself if you got hurt. Same here. And this is why I fell in love with you to begin with.